Hey there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear, and today I want to do an update video on our danglers. Now I first introduced this dangler, which means basically it dangles your knife sheath away from your belt, back when I did the review of the Benchmade Bushcrafter knife. And you can check a video of that review and the initial review of this little dangler by clicking the video up here or clicking the information button. But these danglers have changed a lot since we first introduced them, and I wanted to show you the updated version. So when we initially came out with the dangler, it was uh, a little bit more pliable, not um, finished off as the way it is now, as I'll show you here in just a second. And also it had um, a, just a slightly thinner leather, still very, very strong and sturdy, full grain leather, um, but just slightly, uh, slightly thinner. And it also had a uh, nickel coated brass button here. Um, so a lot of this has been updated as well as the stamp instead of the YAE handmade. We have a different stamp now. So I just wanted to show you the updated version. And um, these are available on Amazon as well as on our website. If you click on the information button in the upper right hand corner, you can check it out on our website. If you click in the description, there's a link to Amazon there. Um, but the price is a lot better on our website than Amazon. Now let me show you the updated version. Here they are kind of for comparison. And they've been slowly morphing from this into this. So a lot of people that have bought them recently have gotten this one, but this is what they, that they used to look like. And this is what you see back in the review of this knife of the uh, Bushcrafter from Benchmade. This is the one I showed back then. So quite a bit different. If you've ordered it recently, you've gotten this one, but they will continue to be like this one. So what's different? Let me show you. Um, like I said, just slightly more sturdy leather. It's finished off a little bit differently with this nice line here running on the edge. This new button on this one also uh, is pure brass uh, and it is set with Loctite Red. And you can see how nice that looks against the brown leather there. Um, it's really nicely finished off. New stamp, the ROG Handmade Stamp, which is the new stamp on all of our new products nowadays, or actually all of them, even including the old ones, we've uh, updated the stamp. So. Yeah, and same dimensions in terms of uh, what it fits, just like the previous one. You can see all the dimensions and all of that on our website if you go there, check it out. Um, and then last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on my belt and show you kind of how it looks and how it sits on your hip. So to put it on, uh, you just pull this off and it's really nice and sturdy on there. You can see how that fits there. You just open it up. You can, you know, you don't have to do that. You could actually slide it onto your belt, um, but you will definitely have to do it when you put your knife in here. So the actual D-ring. And then you can just slide it in here and uh, bends over that. And then you just press it on and pull it. Now that is very, very, very secure on there. So to, you have to pull this to take it off. Um, no, no downward pressure or any kind of sideways pull will take that off. Um, the only way to take it off is by pulling this. So I know some people have requested a snap on here, but I think a snap would actually come off a lot easier and you'd have to have two snaps to connect it together. This way you just have this one piece. It looks really nice and neat. And uh, it looks really cool here with just this nice button. So that's the way it sits there. And you can see that uh, it lowers it quite a bit down from where it would be without it. So without this, it would be about this high. And this lowers it down at least three or four inches here from your belt and uh, makes it very nice to dry your knife. And also if you're you know, kneeling down to do any kind of work on the ground, um, your knife kind of falls down to this position. Uh, and also if you're wearing a shirt and it's not tucked in, your knife is still exposed like that and it's not hidden under your shirt. Um, and you can still pull it out and put it back in quite easily. So whenever you guys buy anything from ROG, um, from us, you will get it in this recycled box. And there's a video about how these are made right here. You can click on that video. Uh, I mean, it's, I think it's kind of a cool process. We basically, old boxes, we cut them apart and make these new boxes out of them. And uh, they're the perfect size and allow us to keep the weight down. And of course they have a little logo on there from us. Um, but you can see this is just an old box that's been glued together. So you always get it in a box like this. And uh, the other video I wanted to mention for you guys is um, you can see how uh, some work is done in our shop. It's actually the making of a sheath. And you can click a video right here as well. You go to that video to see how the sheath is made. And this dangler is actually made in a very similar style to this um, by Vlad, my dad, or myself. So there's that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any kind of questions, 
please leave them in the uh, comments section below. Um, like the video, share it with your friends. If you're interested in Dangler, please check out our website. It um, has all the information there and actually uh, pretty good pictures there as well if you want to see some close-ups. Uh, we will be updating the pictures as well for this Dangler there because we have the old version still on there. So thank you guys again. Uh, it's been Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear. And as always, praise God for everything he provides for us. I'll see you guys in the next video.